Hi, I'm Bob, the product manager for Brother QL Label Printers. Today we're going to talk about how to make a small application using our BPAC SDK for Windows. So we'll be using uh, two pieces to show this. First is a, a Visual Studio.net application, and then next we'll show you how to use VBA in an Excel application to print to the QL 720NW printer. So first off, we're going to look at the, a small little application that takes um, in a, a name, a text field for the name and company, and then it will print the name badge label out of the uh, printer. So I've created a, a little small view here that has basically two text boxes on it uh, to accept the name and the company information. And then we have a, a print button and an exit button. And what we'll look at first is when you start off the application to integrate the BPAC SDK in, we're going to look at the compiler settings. And basically the BPAC SDK comes in two features. Uh, a 64-bit version and a 32-bit version. Uh, today we're going to use the 32-bit version for this particular application. We do have available the 64-bit application for certain printers. So for the QL700 series, we do have uh, extra print drivers available that uh, you can request from the um, support, SDK support at brother.com. For today, we're going to look at the compile settings. And the main thing here, since we're using the 32-bit version, is we need to make sure that the targeted uh, CPU is set for x86 in order to make sure it uses the 32-bit version. The other part that we're going to look at is also making sure that the Brother BPAC uh, 3.1 is the latest version type library is added. Uh, if it is not here, then you can simply add it and go pick the location of where you downloaded the BPAC SDK files. Then we'll take a little, uh, we'll look at the actual application code behind this. So the application code here, what this basically BPAC works in conjunction with the ptouch editor template file. So we're going to also make a, a template file in ptouch editor, and then we're using the BPAC SDK to uh, overwrite the text that's in the actual template label file. So we'll see that in a second here. In here, the main thing is when we we're going to set our path for where our uh, label template is located. And we see here that it uses this uh, badge.lbx file. And what that is is in ptouch editor, we have a badge.lbx file here. So this is the template that will be used to inject and overwrite the two text information for the name and the company. We basically have two fields here. And if we right click on the mouse and we click on properties and we go to the expanded tab here, you'll see here that there's an object name. It's OBJ name. This is important because this is how we'll reference from the BPAC SDK to overwrite this text field in the, app, uh, in the label template file. And if we look at the company part, we'll go to properties here as well. And we'll see that this is OBJ company. And we'll need that part later. Now we'll go back to our Visual Studio.net application. And in here we have the print button and we'll call the do print function. So here is our do print function. And basically at this point, the first part that we do is we create a document using the BPAC document part. We create that object, and now we have um, a way of loading in the BPAC SDK. We put the path in and open the file. So now we're opening the template file, and at this point, then we're going to set the printer that we want to use. So in this case, I'm using um, the QL 720NW label printer. It's connected through USB and it's going to use the print driver to print to 
the printer. So the next part is to get the object from the template file. So we call obj doc, get object, and we pass it the name of the text object from ptouch editor. So in this case, it's name because of we want to replace the Mr. Mike Smith with the new name that we type in from the application. And this is where the obj dot name is. And if we go back to here, we see that. And then this part here is our um, edit box from our form, which is this box here. We see over here that if we look up by, here Oops. we see name is txt name and that is where that lines up with txt name and we get the text out of that so whatever text I type in is going to now be pushed into this object and then we do the same thing for company. Then we call the print start the start print part, which will open the socket and tell it, uh, we're just gonna tell it to use the defaults, its normal cutting method, and all the default settings for the printer. There are different options that you can look in the SDK to get more information on what other settings you can set for that. We call the print out function, and then we end print to close the connection. And then we close our ptouch template, and then we're done. So if we actually go and start this application here, we will get our little dialog box here. We can type in our name. And our company. And then we can press the print button. And then out comes our name, hello, with the information that I typed in from our application here, Bob Brady and brother as the company. And that's a simple way of doing it from uh, Visual Studio. What I'll show you next is how we can actually also make an application inside of Excel to utilize the BPAC SDK as well. And you'll see here, I just have a couple of products, uh, maybe where they're located. And I want to print out a label for stock. So what I can do here is I made a little application. Uh, you can see some buttons here. We will just go to the developer section of Excel, turn on the design mode to take a look at this. And if we right click here and go to view code, We'll see here that it uses uh, similar functionality of the BPAC SDK in creating an object again for the document. And then now we're going to pass it information from Excel into the template that we have. So I have a new template file, which is called product.lbx file. And we'll take a look at that one in ptouch editor. So product LBX file lists the product. We have a product text object here. We also have some barcodes uh, and an aisle and a bin of where it's located. And these uh, OBJ files is actually the same name as the expanded part here. So that's how we link up the two files as I had just mentioned in the Visual Studio application. Go back to our Excel file. So in Excel, what we're going to do is, uh, this actually gets multiple selections of what you selected in the Excel rows, and then we'll go through those and print out labels for them. What we'll do next is, create our printer and we 
pass it the Brother QL 720NW printer. So this is the actual print driver on the, located on the machine that we want to print to. Again, it's connected USB from my PC to the printer. And what we have also is uh, have a couple selections of how you want to cut. So there's some choices on, there's a little drop down box on the Excel form here. Over here that the options for cutting. So we're just going to use them to decide what actually to set the uh, start print to, to auto cut, no cut, or cut at end. Then from here, we're going to get the text from the, each row, from the, each cell. So from the cell, row, and then what actual column we're going to get. We're going to get the text out of there, and we're going to take that and store it into each of the fields onto what we created into the template. So in the template, we have an OBJ TXT product. And if we take a look here, we have OBJ product, and we're going to take the text field from column one and stick it into this. And then same thing, we're going to uh, take the text from there, put it into the OBJ barcode, and then we're going to do the same thing for aisle, bin, barcode two, and then we're going to uh, basically set the printout, and we're going to uh, then print and end print, close the connection and then lastly we're going to close the the object template so if we uh, go back to our Excel file and we reactivate this take it off of the designer mode and bring it back to our part you'll see I selected uh, rows six and seven with this information and we're going to click the print label to network printer button and then we're going to get our first label, which is the QL700. So this information here, the barcode is actually the serial number. Uh, it's 2F and bin uh, 225. And then we can see our second label is the QL1050, and it has the 3D and bin 300. So from here, you can basically, um, you know, if you had a bigger list of table here, you can select your information that you want to print and use the BPAC SDK to replace the text on the, the template file and print as many labels as you want by sending it to the printer. We hope this tutorial was helpful. And if you'd like to request any of the sample applications that we built here, you can email the link below. Thank you again for watching.